Hey, morning, and welcome to Seven Figure, <laughs> Seven Figure Even Business Secrets. Hey, morning. Well, uh, yeah, very special edition. If you're an accountant, I have some very special news for you. Just come up in a second. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, there's, there's a lot of sun here this morning. It's, it's one of those mornings where you know, you're just delighted to be alive. Um, I pulled up the blinds this morning and looking, look straight out and you know, in the, in the, the dim, uh, barely awake state and all I remember is still, still in my mind is, is looking out and yeah I live across the road from um, the sea, the Irish Sea. Now it's a little bit chilly, don't, don't get excited by it. Uh, but there on the sea were about, about what, 12, 13 fishing boats just bobbing up and down uh, going back and forth, they're, they're shell fishing and, uh, and the sun just coming up, lovely sort of bright orange sun um, and then this just amazing sort of sky that was just hinting at, at being a deep blue and yeah it just had to stop for a second look at it and yeah just just thank thank god for just being alive it was, it was just so amazing and then the morning so I got better quick shower and everything downstairs and and a bump into the wife she's a she's a, a bit of an early riser uh, early well earlier than me so just cool saying good morning and then little son sort of arrives in and he's uh, done this absolutely amazing project on on castles and Normans and and he's nine right <laughs> he gave me this little booklet and, and in the booklet he's actually typeset uh, it's, it's like a folded page um, about eight of them together so it's like probably a little booklet and and on each page is a bit about the Normans and what they did and and then castles and and then he Show me this one they've done overnight. It's a, a drawing of a castle, and it's it's so minute in the details, and and uh, all the brickwork and the moats there, and the drawbridge, and, and little banners, and it's just it's just mad. So, yeah, so that's been my morning. So <laughs> I'm here talking to you, all all happy and thinking this is this is the coolest life ever. <laughs> how could it ever ever get better than that? Well, of course, talking to you. That's why. <laughs> that's how it gets better. Um, but y yeah. <laughs> The reason today for talking to you is, is yeah, if you're if you're an accountant, oh, you better pay attention to this one. Um, <laughs> so my, my son, my eldest son, not the one who did the um, castle, my eldest son, he's 15, and he's just gone through his mock exams for one of the major set of exams in Ireland is coming up in in three months' time. So he's just done his prep exams for that. So last one today, um, but part of that is is for next year he's got to choose um, subjects, he's got to choose seven subjects he's going to take through um, right through up to university. So he's, he's been going on whether I do one science or two science or modern language or all of this. So, so basically the teachers come in and they, they, they do their pitch for, for here's, here's a really cool subject that you want to do because he's got a choice of must be about 15 subjects, everything from woodwork and maths and all of this type of stuff, technical graphics and um, computer drawing, all computer science, and you, you know all of those. Um, but a few days ago, he was telling me that his business teacher came in, and there's, there's basically three business uh, subjects they can do. They can do, uh, I think it's economics and business, and the last one's accounting. And uh, anyway, the the he said, oh, so how'd it go? And he said, oh yeah, it was um, it was great. And I said, are you going to do any? And he went, no, no, no chance, no chance at all. I said, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. And so well basically the business teacher came in and um, he egged up everything and then he got to accounting. He said, Oh accounting, fantastic subject. He's uh, the business teacher is saying he's got a friend who's got a helicopter as an accountant and uh, the accountants are great because they help businesses run and there's loads of jobs for accountants and it's really interesting and if you're any good at maths, you know the usual da 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 and I said, well, that sounds okay, Joel. <laughs> so why aren't you why aren't you thinking of doing accounting? And he turned to me and went, Dad, you're just not with it. Um, accounting is all going to be replaced by computers. There's going to be no jobs in accountants. So why on earth would I be <laughs> an accountant? So if you're an accountant, there you are. You've, you've heard it from a 15-year-old. Uh, the future of accounting has been predicted. The jury's out, or jury's in. There is no future in accounting, right? <laughs> but <laughs> it, it did get me thinking is, it's uh, the first time I've heard him actually, uh, in, in a really cool way, express that actually, um, none of none of our jobs, whatever we're doing, whether you're an entrepreneur like me, or or whether you're an accountant, or whether you're an engineer, all of our jobs are changing at such a rapid pace at the moment that actually, you know, he's right. As in, you know, <laughs> there's no point picking a, a a very niche subject at the moment, or, or sorry, not even a niche, a, a broad subject that you can't really niche down, and expecting that in 
five or ten years time you know the job you're doing today is going to be the same job that you're going to do tomorrow uh, but to me that's the, the huge opportunity the, the massive opportunity and um, so just letting the car pass here come on there you go he's going oh he's got the two little kids in the back yep yeah. <laughs> um, so it's, it, it's, you, the cars are all slow around because they're just passing uh, two schools at the moment that um and it's it's nine o'clock so everyone's going into school at the moment uh, yeah i just dropped my little lad off that's that's so i'm part of the school run at the moment actually another cool thing about um you know, being your own boss and being able to do things is, is yeah you get to decide in the morning do you know what I'll, I'll drop the little lad off to school and you have this amazing chat and um, yes it's, I tell you my morning's been cool anyway uh, back to the accounting and and jobs so, so yeah so when I look back at my career like I'm an engineer by trade and a uh, mechanical engineer even at that so I did niche down but the jobs I've done um, like most of the jobs I've done in the last 15 years um, they they didn't exist until I did them. They're, they're brand new jobs, and and you know, name them off like a process to pay global director, and uh, what am I doing? Oh yes, yeah, just there's just so many jobs, and and so many of the functions just didn't exist either because the world is all changing, and and one of the the opportunities I suppose for that is that um, because the world is changing, there's opportunities just popping up all the time. What you've got to be is, is yeah, like, like my 15-year-old son was saying, is you've got to have the right skill sets to take, take advantage of the opportunities that are, that are going to, to present themselves. And, and really, you know, if you're sitting in a job at the moment, wow, that sounds bright. Um, if you're sitting in a job at the moment, um, you really have basically uh, three choices. You can stick in your job, you can move jobs, so a different company or whatever, or another job within the same company. You could move to a job that's funded, uh, like a, a new startup or venture capital, say if you're going out on your own in the business, or you can actually go out on your own in the business. And and for you know, if you're working in a corporate, you've actually got a lot more options than than I think you realise. Um, starting a business and and going out on your own is yes, I won't lie, it's it's a lot of work, it's tough, but what it is is it gives you a skill set that that allows you and, and gives you the confidence to go and set up and do things and create your own income at, at any time you want and what I always encourage people to do is and, and I, I did myself for years is you know figure it out on the side you don't have to leave your job to start a business but what you can actually do is start a business while not leaving your job and and start working on skills like marketing and if you're an accountant you know where is the world going to do you want to be able to um, you know, morph and change or move into another industry or do you want to, to basically go and set up for yourself maybe you're maybe you're going to be a consultant maybe you're actually going to run accounting services for other people maybe you're going to move industry completely and and actually buy and sell stuff or or offer your your skills and services in terms of courses and and stuff like that but until you put your foot in the water once you know you need to be building these skills now the last thing you want is to find out that yeah a computer has suddenly replaced your job and and by the way you've got another four weeks left and left to go and find a job at that stage it's a blind panic it's a fear it's a stress you're much better off is if you ever get to that stage and and actually let's be honest we all will be at that stage probably more than once given where where the world's going to that you want to have lots of options and, and one of those options I, I absolutely encourage everyone to have is the ability to say do you know what now is the time now is the time when I'm gonna start a business now is the time that I'm gonna take control of, of how I spend my life now is the time that I'm gonna be my own boss now is the time now is the time to go and do it and the only way that you're going to be able to say now's the time in a in a, a less risky way is to know that you already have the skills you already have been practicing you've already got that side job you've already been thinking about it because there is a lot to start up your own business so so do I'm not not just having an accountant if you're an engineer anyone else start thinking now about what would happen if you were given four weeks and told listen your job is now under threat you are not going to have a salary job in four weeks time what would life feel like if you knew that actually do you know what i've got a good chance of actually becoming my own boss now so start preparing yourself for that opportunity now rather than be on the back foot when that incredible opportunity arrives for you right uh, i've got the sun blaring my eyes uh, i'm sure i'm squinting away at the phone um, but yeah I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna have a really happy day 
I uh, hope your day is going going as well as mine has started and, and hopefully mine will continue to go this way. See you later. Bye.